Hey, this is Mike Barker here at Four Seasons RV in Medicine Hat, Alberta. In front of me is the 2018, or sorry, 2019 Grand Design Reflection 337 RLS. Uh, we're gonna go through this trailer here, inside and out, and show you what this has to offer. So starting at the front, of course you have your full fiberglass body painted uh, um, front cap. LED lighting for docking when you are hooking up your fifth wheel. Plenty of storage up front. You can see you got your battery in there lots of room there is a light in there too as well as you can see at the back and then of course your power stabilizers at the front here as you can see there's the motors on both sides so you do have a spot here i can get this open there we go portable solar panel if you do have one you can hook that up there as well as on both sides you're gonna have two 30 pound propane tanks, so 60 pounds total, one on this side, one on the other. Starting at the under uh, pass-through storage, so your full docking station is just right here. You have uh, your water pump there, hot and cold water, city water connection there, black flush tank, all your valves here to be able to, you know, set up for dry camping, power fill, winterize, sanitize, all that stuff. All your tank valves are just down below and there's your hose there. Um, there's a second door here, as you can see, it does open wide. And uh, this does have an auto leveling system. Power cord comes with what looks like a memory foam mattress for somewhere in there, maybe the pull out couch, I'm not too sure. But uh, give you an idea of the decals here. Very nice condition, no fading, no cracking, no peeling. No 50 amp service right here. Has a little LED light on here, let you know you're actually getting power towards it. Tires are in good shape. This here is uh, sewer hose storage. Uh, looks like they may have lost the cap for that, so they've got duct tape on there, so. Doesn't look the best, so I do apologize for that, but your tires, they look good. Good tread, no cracking. Nothing like that there. No bubbling in the fiberglass either on this particular model. So a ladder with a full walkable roof. You have a nice rear window set up for a backup camera just at the top there. A hitch on the back, it's rated for 3,000 pounds towing, 300 pounds tongue weight, and four pin wiring there for uh, your brake lights and stuff on the trailer you might be pulling. So two full power awnings on this, they're in uh, perfect condition. No issues, no cracking, nothing like that in this one. Again, lots and lots of windows, UV tinted. No cracking on either side. I didn't show that in the when I was over there on your fenders. They're like new. Other side of your pass-through storage here. You do have a battery disconnect there. Motion lights inside. Lots and lots of room. And then that that uh, hatch there is for your second propane tank. Outside speakers, one in the corner, one there. That's that second awning. There is LED light strips underneath not sure if you can see that there there you go you can see the led strip there but we'll head in take a look at the inside here show you what it had, what uh, this one's all about so you have nice nice stairs coming in they are uh, quite a wide tread easy to pull in and out i'm just gonna get a quick walk through, pan through of the trailer here quick so you can see everything and then I will go through it. All right, so starting up at the, the door and the entryway here, your full control panels. So your slide controls are right here, water pump, 
water heater, gas, and electric. Your awning lights and porch lights there too as well. Ceiling lights on and off. And then your awning light here. So, oh, I left the water pump on. That's why that light is on there. You have a little bit of storage up top. And then down below here, your fuse panel. You see the covers just right there. Access to storage. You're going to find that on the same or opposing side of this. Nice full extension uh, drawers. Looks like you get an extra uh, light bulb. Or, well, maybe, I'm not sure what that is actually. Oh, that's for the uh, water, or your soap, sorry. It's a soap container. <laughs> Show you where that goes. Uh, anyway, uh, two plug-ins there. You have USB ports just right there too as well. Light switches just above, underneath the cabinet with your lighting there and there. Nice deep cabinets here. More full extension drawers, lots and lots of room in these. Large double door fridge. There are gonna be a few things that we will be touching up on this. For example, the light fell out. Simple enough, we'll pop that in there. It's gonna be good to go. Uh, these things do go through a full inspection. Water test, gas test, appliance test, make sure that works. Uh, we try to clean up as much cosmetic stuff as we can. We reseal the roof if it needs it. Bearings get repacked too as well. So this trailer is gonna be 100% when it does get uh, picked up, as well as uh, full detail inside and out. So plenty of counter space here. It is a solid surface countertop. Really easy to clean, very durable. Don't have to worry about any kind of wood swelling if you get too much water on there, or something gets spilled. Three burner oven. Nice deep cabinet there. Convection microwave. It's a full size residential microwave. Separate oven. It is a little bit larger than your standard RV oven, so it's gonna give you a lot more room to maybe cook tur chicken in there, or you know, maybe a small turkey even. So beside that, you do have your pantry. Pantry has a motion light, as you saw it turn on right there. Lots and lots of shelving in here. If you're having extended stays in a trailer like this, you're going to have a lot of room for any kind of, uh, um, you know, food. lots of food anyways. For you. <laughs> Again, full extension drawers, nice big island, plenty of prep space. You can see there's a hole here. That is where that soap dispenser goes. That was in that drawer just over there. Nice large sink here. So on your keys, just to show you. So on the door, which I, uh, I don't think I showed you when we were out there, there is a keypad to unlock it, as well as you have a remote control, kind of like a car starter, but it's for your door locks. So if for some reason you lock your keys inside the trailer, which does happen, you still are able to get inside the trailer and not have to worry about having to call somebody to uh, come unlock your trailer so that you can get in. Won't leave you stranded. So your entertainment center here, you do have a 5,000 BTU forced air electric fireplace. Um, it's, you can preset your temperatures going to warm up this area really really nicely without having to actually run your furnace if you don't want to run the the heat off of this but still want the fireplace going you can do that too as well huge huge drawer as you can see you have a dvd player lots of dvds card games board games great spot for that nice big uh, tv there too as well looks like a 46 inch tv your uh radio Gives you zones for your inside and outside. Um, a USB port, sorry. <laughs> Headphone jack, auxiliary porch. If you want to listen to your own music and stuff like that, you can do so too as well. Nice deep, deep cabinets there. Lots of storage in this. Grand Design does a very good job of utilizing um, all the space they have. 
to be able to give you as much storage as you possibly can. So your rear couch here is a pull-out couch. It is a tri-fold couch. It works out to be a queen bed. You have, again, storage on both sides with plugs just below those cupboard doors there. You see that on the other side there. Theater seating facing the TV. So these here, they do recline. You just have a pull tab there. They are heated, massaged. They do have a light and you have a lockout button here too as well. That's gonna lock everything out so you're not accidentally touching buttons. A um, Little bit of storage in between. As you can see, great spot for your remotes. You have controls for here. This one here in particular is for your fireplace. freestanding dinette so these ones here they do fold up and you can put those away if you only need just two of them your main chairs here have storage underneath these ones here as you can see there's the fold up this one's partially folded up here so that's why it looks a little awkward but that's going to kick out just like that and you'll be set not have to worry about uh, falling through the chair <laughs> Again, lots and lots of windows in here. Really brings in the light. You have uh, full privacy shades. So at night and stuff like that, you don't need anybody looking in. They're uh, anti-slam so they don't whip up and make a bunch of noise. You do have an awning, awning extension here. That is for the awning that is on this slide. Oh, moving towards the back here, you got your hallway. You do have a, a stair light. Nice wide treads. Deep treads too as well. Really gives you lots of room to get your whole foot on there. Bathroom in this one here. Again, lots and lots of room. It is a porcelain toilet. Makes it easier for cleaning. Uh, foot flush toilet too as well. And my red shirt's lighting up the, the bathroom here. Um, nice stainless steel sink. Of course, you have your GFI plug medicine cabinet there. Yeah, there's your toilet paper holder. And you find some people don't ever use those. Full extension drawers. More storage down below. You do get a linen cupboard too as well. And a spot to hang some towels there. Of course your ceiling fan above skylight for uh, give you a little more headroom if you're not vertically challenged and then of course uh, a seat there and little shelves to be able to put your shampoos and soaps and anything else you may need in the bathroom moving to oh, you got some coat hooks here too as well but moving to the master bedroom so this one does have a bed slide you do get a king bed in this and it looks like it comes with a brand new mattress, which is even better. So huge walk-in closet, light switch there. AC ducts again, coming through the uh, ceiling. A vent in here too as well. You do get huge underbed storage, tons of room, gas struts there holding this up. As you, anything you see in here, blankets, pillows, those do come with it. Nice big dresser here. The window, you're gonna have your privacy shade there too as well. This string moves across if you want it to. Nice big deep drawers. Spot for a TV, there's the TV mount. The TV is actually in the closet there for travel so it doesn't bounce around. Light in here. Lots and lots of room. Washer and dryer set up. If you did ever want to put one in. I'm not that tall, but I can pretty much stand inside this, this closet here. Give you an idea of the space. So there's your dryer hookup spot here. Dryer vent. You can have them both if it's stackable on this side or if you want them separate on either side. USB port and plug down below. 
and a plug-in just down below on this side. No USB, but that's all right. And then of course some reading lights just above as you can see there. So again, this has vaulted ceilings in here a little bit. Gives you more headroom. 10 foot ceilings in the main area there. Definitely gives you a lot of room to walk around. But overall, this is the 2019 Grand Design Reflection 337 RLS. And one thing I should show you here, if you didn't notice throughout the rest of the video, oh, there is a little bit of uh, wear. Now those aren't chips, that's just some of the stain. It could be something that we could touch up if that's something that you would like, providing we have the right stain color, of course, but it's just the cabinets. Everything else looks good. And again, like I said, this will go through a full detail inside and out. It'll be really, really clean and ready to go when it's time to be picked up. But uh, overall, that's the, uh, that's the whole trailer. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please give us a call. Thanks for watching.